right, you guys, welcome back. I'm Caitlin, and today we're going to talk about my Zoe stroller that I love. I am so excited to show you the features on this stroller and share with you why I love it so much. So a couple of years ago, I was going to be traveling, flying multiple times with my baby, um, sometimes by myself, sometimes with other people, but I knew that I wanted to have something that was lightweight and compact and that I could easily maneuver by myself while I also had my carry-on luggage and I had her and, you know, just all the things. Um, and so I went searching for a lightweight stroller. I had heard the Zoe recommended so many times that I thought, well, I'll order this one and check it out. And I fell in love with it. I mean, I was just shocked because it feels so much more sturdy than those other lightweight strollers. Now, don't get me wrong, this is not a jogging stroller or anything, but it just felt so much more sturdy and it was so crazy lightweight. Like the first day, I just couldn't stop. Like, I was like, I can pick it up with one hand, you guys, this is crazy because it's 11 pounds. Traditionally, I have always had really big strollers. I've had a um, Bob Revolution jogging single stroller, then I had a Bumble Ride BB Twin, and I've had a Baby Jogger City Select. So those are like really bulky, heavy strollers that are, you know, like 25, 30, 35 pounds. So to have this one that was so small, I could literally pick it up with one arm, <laughs> and the, you know, you just fold it and just swing it around. I mean, it just blew my mind. It was crazy. I loved it. So anyway, I got the stroller, I used it for those trips, and that was kind of all I intended to use it for, but really just loved how easy it was to get it in and out of the car and how much less space it took up than our other strollers, that this has become, for the most part, my primary stroller. Now, as I am obviously pregnant again, <laughs> Uh, we'll be going back to a double stroller when this little one is born. However, I'm still hanging on to this one because it's still really convenient and handy to have for certain things. And I have also now gotten the car seat adapter for it, which I'm going to show you so that I'll be able to use it um, almost as like one of those click in car seat lightweight stroller things. So anyway, I love it. Obviously, it's not perfect because there is no perfect stroller. So I'll share the things that I don't care for. But overall, it's been a really, really fantastic stroller. So let's start talking about some of the features, okay? So this model, when I purchased it in 2019, was called the Zoe XL1. They have now renamed it, and it's called the Zoe Tour. It's pretty much the exact same stroller. Um, I don't think that they've really changed anything to it. I think they just updated the name. So everything that I show you on this should be relevant to what the current strollers are. It is an aluminum frame, so it, you know, feels good and sturdy, but it's still really lightweight. It weighs 11 pounds for the whole stroller. Like I was showing you earlier, it's very, very lightweight. Um, and the seat can hold up to 45 pounds. So you can have an up to 45 pound child in it. I mean, sometimes my child who is over 45 pounds will sit in it for a few minutes and it's not a big deal. Like it doesn't just collapse or anything, but that's what it's rated for is up to 45 pounds. Okay. The stroller has a one-handed fold. It is super easy. There's just right in the seat here. It has a picture of a lock that shows you where the fold is. When you reach your hand out of there, there's a little bitty handle and you just reach down and get the handle. You don't have to hardly apply any pressure and it just folds right in half. There is also a locking mechanism on there where it locks the stroller shut and then when you're ready to unfold it you just pop that open and it just opens back up with an easy little snap super super easy i mean it just doesn't get much easier than that and then open it right back up boom there you go another feature this stroller has is that you can carry it over your shoulder with one strap or like a backpack with two straps. Now that is something that is sold separate from the stroller itself. So if you want those, you have to purchase them separately. And I have not purchased them. I have not needed them. Um, but I did use another strap that I have. This is just a Jujube messenger strap just to show you. So there's a D ring here on the side of the handle and here underneath the seat so that when you fold it and you lock it up, then you can just 
put it over your shoulder and carry it like so if you want to. And then there's a identical set of D-rings on the other side of the stroller. So there's D-rings up here at the top of the stroller and at the bottom. So if you wanted to use two straps and carry it backpack style, you could collapse it and put it on your back like a backpack. I've never done that. I've never even tried to find two straps for it or anything. So I can't really demonstrate that, but it is an option if you want to carry it like that. Um, I have a actual backpack bag that it can go in that I'll show you in a minute. Um, but if you want to just keep the straps on the stroller and put it on your bag, you can do that too. All right, so now let's look at features of the stroller. We're gonna start at the top and work our way down so we can see the different things about it. All right, so first there's the handlebar. This is not an adjustable handlebar, it's just stationary, and, but it does have a one handled push, which was really important to me. I wanted to have my other hand free to hold a child or to use my phone or whatever. So I really like that it has the one-handed push. There is a cup holder that comes with the stroller. You can remove it if you want to or leave it on there. Uh, it's fairly sturdy. It's not the sturdiest in the whole entire world. And I wouldn't put anything super tall in it because it might tip over, but um, I usually actually just stick my cell phone right there and it just angles it nicely so I can keep an eye on that. And then I use a separate console for my other drinks and that kind of stuff. It's um, it's not one that's sold by Zoe, although there is a Zoe console, um, and I'll show it to you in just a minute, and I'll link to it in the comments as well. Mine's from Amazon. The canopy is huge. It has four panels, so when you, like the standard canopy is like this, and then there is this zipper here to unzip it so it gets even bigger. And then there's a flap underneath it flips out to make it even deeper and so you can see when it's completely unfolded I mean it covers up the belly bar and it goes really far down so it's a really nice big canopy it covers it's also UPF 50 plus which I don't exactly know what that means so it has something to do with like sun protection um, so so it does help protect from the sun so that's really nice there is a mesh peekaboo window here. Um, it is mesh for a little extra ventilation so you can check on your baby. It has a magnetic closure, just a nice quiet little snap. Um, the only thing I wish or don't care for about this little window is that there's no way to hold it open. I wish they had included some additional magnets like on the top so you could open it and then keep it open. And you can see the lining of the hood is kind of this shiny silverish material, which I assume is what makes it that UPF 50. Um, there is a little bitty clip. So if you, so in between the first panel and the second panel, there's this little bitty clip right here that kind of gets lost if you don't know it's there. This is, I believe, to attach the entertainment center thing that Zoe sells, which is like a clear pocket that you can put like a iPad or something in. I don't have that and I don't know much about it, but if you get it, I think that's where that attaches. So it kind of like can hang there in front of your child. The Zoe comes with this belly bar as part of the whole set when you buy it and it attaches right here. There are these two red levers that you pull and they just lift off super easy. Um, if you want to just do one of them, you can just detach one and make it a swing away handle, or you can detach both of them and it lifts off super easy. It also comes with a cup holder and a snack container. So to take the belly bar off, you can instead have the cup holder on one side and the snack container on another and use it that way. Um, and then these, they don't have the little red release buttons you just kind of wiggle them to get them on and off. This is also where the car seat adapter goes, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, and Zoe sells a separate snack tray. I don't have the whole tray. I just have the two little pieces that come with it, but they do sell a snack tray that attaches as well if you prefer that. 
I forgot to mention that this is also where you would attach the second add-on seat if you want to turn your stroller into a tandem stroller. This is one of the coolest features of the Zoe stroller is that you can take your single and you can add on this additional seat to make it a double. I don't have that yet to show you, but I think as my baby gets older, I will. So it has a adjustable, um, it has adjustable straps with the five point harness, very easy to undo. Um, you can move them up to make them higher. You can adjust them. They have like a little cushion. It has a very good seat as far as sitting straight up. I know that's a complaint about a lot of strollers is they stay too reclined and kids don't like that. This one I feel like is very straight up and down when it's at its most up. And then it can recline to, it's a 165 degree recline. So it's not completely flat. So it's not gonna be, um, completely flat for a newborn, unfortunately, but it is fairly flat. So you can see from the side, how far it goes down. And then see there, that looks like. The recline is super, super easy. So this is what it looks like to put it down. You just push this button and pull it down as far as you want it. That's all the way down. To put it back up, you just put your finger in the little D-ring loop thing here and pull it right back up. Super easy to do one-handed. Um, you don't have to use both hands. I've, I'm easily able to do it one-handed. So that's how you recline it. All right, there is this fabric piece here on the back that attaches to the canopy right here. Um, it has a little pocket that Velcros, so you have that. My console that I use usually is hanging right here in front of it, but if you don't have a console, you have that pocket. It Velcros on the bottom of the back of the seat and then kind of opens up to give you um, like some ventilation for your baby. So there's a clip here at the top and there's a clip underneath so that you can roll this up and pull that around. It's, it's really tight. Um, I don't ever actually roll this up. And when I do, it's not very easy. Um, maybe there's a trick that I don't know. But anyway, theoretically, this would snap closed. There we go, got it. And then you have like this little um, open ventilated space for your baby. You can see what it looks like from this side. And then there's also this piece here. Um, so the seat, like, it's about the width of my hand or so, but that way, you know, baby can't go sliding out the back of the seat. So it's kind of like a little safety feature there. All right. The footrest is adjustable. So to lift it up, you just pick it up with your hands. You don't have to do anything to it. And to put it back down, there are these two little levers on either side that you push and push it back down. So it's super easy to go up and down really show you the levers because there's fabric covering them but they're just right here on the sides you just push them push that back down another cool feature that it has is that there is a foot muff attached underneath here so if you have a baby obviously again not a newborn because it's not completely flat but a little bit of an older baby and you have it laying flat down and you want to turn it kind of into like a little bassinet almost you pull the foot rest up and you have to have the belly bar on Underneath the footrest, there's this little Velcro pocket. You kind of have to just feel around and find it. And that flips out on itself. And all that fabric that was rolled up in the Velcro pocket is actually the little foot muff bassinet thing. And so you pull that around the belly bar here and it Velcros in a couple of different places. I'll show you from the side here. And then again on the other side. All right, and now you have a little bassinet type situation set up here for your baby. And the bottom part keeps them from sliding out this end. And then that top lift that I was showing you a second ago keeps them from sliding out that end. And now they have like their little cozy bassinet. And then if you you know, if we want to cover them completely, you can pull your canopy and basically full coverage by that point. 
So very, very cool feature that it has there. And then to put it back, you just unvelcro all those little Velcro flaps and roll it back up underneath itself. And then again, you just kind of have to feel around that there is a piece of Velcro underneath the seat right here um, that it's going to Velcro to and keep it kind of all rolled up and contained in its nice little pocket there. And then just put the foot rest back down with the little levers like that. The basket here is mesh. It is definitely not super sturdy by any stretch. Um, I would not be able to put my large heavy diaper bag in here or anything, but it does hold, you know, a decent amount of stuff that is lighter weight. So for example, I often will stick my little baby carrier in there, you know, a soft lunch box, my kids coats, that kind of stuff. Um, it's sufficient for those lighter weight things um, and it's stretchy. So in that aspect, it's nice because you can shove like lots of soft coats in there, but it's just not really sturdy. So I wouldn't put anything heavy. One thing that annoys me, I don't know if it's just my model, but the snap on the side often comes off when I'm trying to stuff stuff in there. Um, only on that one side. This side almost never comes off, but for whatever reason, this side unsnaps. And so once I get done shoving all their coats, you know, I have to re-snap it. I mean, it's a little bit annoying because like, who wants to take an extra step when you're busy and you know in a rush anyway? That's just one little annoyance that I have with the basket. There are two brakes, one here and one here, as you can see. Um, I do wish that they had just done one a bar across and one break in the middle. Um, it is annoying to have to do two breaks. I'll be honest, most of the time I just do one and um, I set that and it's enough to keep the stroller from like rolling away. Now, if we were like parking on a hill or something, I would do both of them um, to keep it from sliding. But a lot of times when I'm just trying to like keep it still for a minute, I'll just do the one break. But anyway, they're easy to lock and unlock. It's just having to do it twice is again kind of an extra step that's a little bit annoying. So there's the brakes. So my biggest number one complaint about the stroller, and I have not heard a lot of other people complain about this, so I don't know, it must just be me. That is that I kick the wheels when I'm pushing it, or I did when I first got it. It's definitely gotten better. When I first got this stroller, I drove myself crazy because when I would walk, I was just constantly accidentally kicking the wheels. Um, you know, I'm fairly tall, five, seven-ish, um, and but not like super tall, but I am used to, like I was saying earlier, those really big strollers that kind of have like a deeper recline, I guess. And so my stride, I think, was just a lot bigger than this stroller. And so I found myself often walking next to the stroller and pushing it like this, which thankfully it's such an easy, lightweight stroller. That was totally doable. You know, it wasn't like a big, heavy stroller. I needed both hands to maneuver. So that was fine, but it was a little bit annoying, especially if we were out like trying to go for a walk in the neighborhood where I wanted to walk at a quick pace um, and I was constantly kicking it. That drove me crazy. I apparently over the last couple of years have adjusted my stride because now I'm able to push behind it and I don't seem to do that anymore. So I guess I've just kind of gotten used to it. Um, but at first that was super, super annoying to me. Um, but again, like it's just like a minor thing, you know, like all the other positives overshadowed it. So, but that was my one big complaint about the stroller was the stride. Of course, this is not an all-terrain stroller. Okay. This is going to do great on flat surfaces. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I bought it for airplane travel, um, mostly, you know, getting around the airport. And then we were, you know, traveling to a city where we were walking around at our destination. So I got it for flat surfaces. This is not one that you would, it does, it does terrible over gravel. It does okay over grass. I mean, it's not a great push, but you can push it through the grass and I have, um, but it's not like, it's just not the same as an all-terrain stroller. And that's fine. Different strollers serve different purposes. Um, so, but this is definitely gonna do better on flat, smooth pavement, indoor, you know, the mall, that kind of stuff. Really isn't even great on like going over curbs and stuff. Um, I definitely have to 
push a lot, especially if one of my heavier children is in it, to get it up over a bump. It doesn't like take the bumps very easily on its own. So, you know, kind of standard with an umbrella stroller. Like that's just how they are. Um, I just wanna make sure you knew that, that it's not gonna be like a real rough, rugged stroller. So a couple of other accessories I wanna show you. Um, like I mentioned earlier, there is now an infant car seat adapter. That was not available when I first got this stroller and I'm bummed because I would have used it because at the time my daughter was still in her infant car seat um, and I just wasn't able to use the car seat with it. But now there is. And so since I'm pregnant again, I bought it um, because I wanted to have it as an option for this baby. So the car seat adapter, it only works for the Kiko KeyFit 30. That is the only car seat that it fits. So it's kind of limiting if you already own a separate car seat you don't want to buy a whole other car seat. Thankfully, that is the car seat that we have always used with our kids. And so that was very convenient for us. We already had the stroller. We already had the right car seat. It was like $35 for the adapter. So I was really happy about that. But to use that, it's going to go on the belly bar area. And this is what it looks like. It also has those little red levers like the belly bar. You have to recline the seat all the way back and then the adapter just clicks in super easily like that. And then you can take your car seat and it snaps right down in there nice and secure. And you now have your infant car seat that is attached to your stroller. So I'm really excited about this feature. Now, I have seen people say you cannot fold the stroller with the infant car seat adapter attached. That is not actually true. You can fold it. Now, this car seat adapter is sticking out and you may not want to put it in your car that way, but technically you can still fold it and put it in your car with the adapter attached it. You don't have to take it off to fold it. You, you do want to take it off if you want the most compact fold, but you don't actually have to take it off. So just FYI on that. Speaking of putting it in the car, this is what it looks like folded up in the back of my Honda Odyssey. You can see that it does not take up a whole lot of space at all. Very compact. Like I mentioned earlier, Zoe does sell a parent console. Um, I don't have that. I'm not even sure if they were selling it at the time that I bought this stroller. They do have one now, but I just have this one. It is the Ethan and Emma one from Amazon, um, and I'll link it below. It's great. Um, it gives me two additional cup holders, and really this pocket in the middle, I can use that as a cup holder. So I have like three cup holders there plus the one on the stroller. Um, so it's just nice for sticking all of our sippy cups and um, random stuff that we collect throughout the day. Um, but that's how it looks with the parent adapter. It doesn't like change the fold at all um, or make it any more bulky or anything like that. So I just leave that on there all the time, getting it out of the car. Also not a Zoe product, but something else I keep in my stroller is one of these mommy hooks. I just attach it here next to the um, little parent console and that way if I need to hang like my kids backpacks on there or whatever um, I have that as an option I don't use it often but you know we're out shopping that kind of stuff it's nice to have that hook on there I don't know what their like rules are about hanging things on the stroller I'm sure it's probably not encouraged because it's a very lightweight stroller but I'm not having any problems with it and kind of the last accessory or feature that I want to show you is the backpack that you can purchase. Um, ordinarily, I would not buy the backpack for the stroller. Um, the only reason I bought this was because, like I said, we were flying and multiple times and I wanted to have this to put the stroller in. So it's just like this big bag, there's backpack straps on the back and I'll show you what the stroller looks like inside there. So to use the backpack, it unzips really wide and opens up and you wanna make sure that you've taken off like the belly bar off of your stroller so that it's not poking up, but you just close your stroller up and put it down in the bag. And it um, 
there's some extra space. You, know, you can put your belly bar, you can put the snack cups, you can even toss in like some jackets or that kind of stuff if you are, you know, putting it on a plane. You know, there's some extra space in there, but it just zips up really nice. It has this really sturdy handle on the top as well as the backpack straps on the back there. So here it is. I mean, it's kind of big. I wouldn't want to wear it around all day, but it's not uncomfortable and it's great for, you know, if you're gate checking it um, at the airport or whatever else you might need to carry. <laughs> I don't know other scenarios where that would be um, needed, but it's just really nice keeps everything nice and contained in the bag for you. So even though this is a fairly lightweight stroller, I still load it down. It is a workhorse. Now, I'm not affiliated with Zoe, and so here's my disclaimer that you're probably not supposed to hang a bunch of stuff on it, so don't do that. <laughs> you know, like safety-wise, be smart. But um, usually I do this when I don't actually have a child in there, so it's not as big of a deal. But like I use, that mommy hook to hang my, my older two kids backpacks. Usually I've got the carrier and other random coats and stuff underneath there. I'll usually like loop our lunchbox over the handle here. I've got like a long strapped lunchbox that loops over the handle. And then in the middle part, if there's not a child sitting there, you know, I'll put my diaper bag and I have like this little small fold up um, high chair that I stick in there for co-op days. So I really do load it down. Now I don't ever hang like my diaper bag from this handle because my diaper bag is super heavy and that would for sure tip it. But so far doing it like this, um, I have not had any problems with it tipping over. Um, I don't put that much heavy stuff on it, but it can still, it can take a bunch, which is nice. All right, that is it. I know that was a long video, but I really wanted to show you all the features of this stroller. I love it. So my biggest pros for the stroller is that it's really lightweight, it's very compact, um, it's under $200, which uh, is, I think, an amazing value. And check in the description box below because I have a $20 off coupon that you can use to make it even cheaper. So make sure you grab that coupon um, when you go to purchase your stroller. But anyway, it's, it's a good price. It's sturdy enough that I'm able to use it as an everyday stroller. There's only a few you know, terrains or are times when I don't feel like it's quite sturdy enough, but overall it's just a fantastic, lightweight, everyday stroller. I love it. And my biggest complaints, like I said before, are just that weird stride thing that I kick the bottom, the flimsy basket, and obviously that it, you know, can't go over gravel, which again, I don't expect it to. Um, it'd be nice if I could find a stroller that did all the things, but so far that has not happened. But for the purposes that, you know, I want this stroller for, it has been fantastic. And anytime anybody's looking for a lightweight stroller, a travel stroller, I always recommend this one. I just think it's wonderful. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. Good luck to you as you're picking out a stroller and bye guys.